Now an investigation into one of the largest suppliers of the eggs you eat, from supermarkets to McDonald's. Where do they come from and how sanitary are those conditions? Not very in some cases, but due to the Brian Ross report, you're about to see McDonald's made a radical change just last night. Maybe a case of putting the chicken before the egg. For more than 35 years, McDonald's has owned the fast food breakfast market with its Egg McMuffin, now an American food icon. Ham, cheese, a fresh grade A egg. Where does breakfast come from? To hear McDonald's tell it in its television commercials, the source of those eggs is some idyllic place where chickens freely roam the barnyard. And before you know it, you've got a hot and delicious breakfast. The reality is much different. Almost all of McDonald's eggs come from huge, closely guarded operations, including this one in Iowa. Sparbo Farms, a so-called factory farm, where not a chicken is to be seen on the outside, and signs warn that no cameras are allowed inside. These factory farm industries would prefer to operate in secrecy without scrutiny. But tonight, a rare look inside at where breakfast really comes from. An investigator for the animal rights activist group, Mercy for Animals, pierced the wall of egg secrecy, providing this undercover video to 2020. Why don't we leave all these dead birds in here? Showing what appears to be unsanitary conditions and mindless animal cruelty at Sparbo facilities in three states. I saw workers do horrendous things to birds. They are thrown, they're grabbed by the neck, they're slammed in and out of cages. The animal rights activist who made the footage got inside after being hired at Sparbo last summer. He asked that we not show his face and call him Scott. So this is the scene, huh? This is the scene. Sparbo never caught on to who he was, and at one point, he sat in on a company-wide conference call that warned of possible infiltration by animal rights activists. There could be people out there with cameras trying to get pictures. But the fox with the undercover camera was already in the hen house. At Sparbo, like most major egg producers, the chickens are kept in what are called battery cages six to a cage, stacked high in rows twice the length of a football field. Egg producers say they are cost efficient and scientifically acceptable. They literally live their entire lives laying eggs for, for McDonald's, for their consumers, in these battery cages where they do not have the space to fully spread their wings or walk around. Workers cut the beaks of young chicks to prevent them from pecking the others in their crowded cages. The video also shows workers cleaning out dead birds, apparently left for days or weeks to rot in the cages while other hens laid their eggs. There were flies sw swarming the, the battery cages. There were rodents running around, you know, in and out of the walls and underneath the cages. Scott said his bosses seemed unconcerned about possible contamination of the food trays by the insects and rodents. What food safety experts say is a primary way that salmonella and other diseases can be spread. Were there special orders to make sure the food tray is kept clean, free of bugs and rodents? No, not that I ever heard anybody Nothing say. Nothing like that? No, I never heard anybody ask, ask us to clean the feed trays, no. We showed the tape to David Atchison, who is the head of food safety for the FDA in the Bush administration. That's a public health threat. Flies love dead meat, and that's dead meat, and it should be gone. And then flies move the salmonella around. Exactly, as do rodents. He's going to deposit that into, into the feed, and then the chickens eat the feed, and then from the egg into the human, and you get salmonella, and in the worst case, a dead human. Even those who survive can suffer horribly. Salmonella in eggs from another Iowa producer almost killed Sarah Lewis of Santa Cruz, California, a mother of two still on heavy medication a year and a half later. I've missed a lot and it's just, it just takes a toll on you. Sarah got sick after eating dessert at a graduation dinner for her sister at a catering hall, one of several dozen to fall ill. It was an egg custard tart and come to find out that's what ended up getting everyone sick. The eggs used to make the custard were contaminated with salmonella, attacking Sarah's digestive system leading to massive infection, internal bleeding, and near cardiac arrest. I was white as a ghost, and my children didn't even really recognize me, and they were just crying, and they saw me at my worst. Federal inspectors discovered that the bad eggs used in the custard 
came from an Iowa company, Wright County Eggs, with a long record of health problems. The conditions in your facility were not clean, they were not sanitary, they were filthy. It was the big story of the summer of 2010. More than 2,000 people across the country got sick from Wright County eggs. We've been reporting all week here on that massive recall, now at a half billion eggs and still growing. And there was a nationwide health scare about the safety of all eggs. The salmonella outbreak from that company a year and a half ago led to a long overdue crackdown and promises of stepped up federal enforcement which is why this new undercover videotape at a second Iowa company is so important, calling into question whether enough is still being done to keep America's eggs safe. Sparbo produces hundreds of millions of eggs and claims it has never discovered salmonella in a single egg. Now, I've been at barns all around the world. This is state of the art when it comes to egg production. The company invited 2020 for a one hour tour of its huge facility in Vincent, Iowa requiring all of us to wear protective gear. Sanitation's a high priority. Inside, Sparbo executive Ken Clippen showed us around, saying the filth and vermin seen on the undercover tape was an aberration. Yes, just an aberration. That the battery cages provide plenty of room for chickens, even though they are banned in two states. So you don't think these are cruel? Absolutely not. And Clippen said, Sparbo's techniques have been widely praised and lead to the safest eggs possible. We make sure that the eggs that we deliver to our customers are safe and wholesome. The best quality possible is Sparrow Farms. But that was called into question this week with the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, coming down hard on Sparbo in what it said was a rare company-wide warning letter that cited serious, significant violations with sanitary conditions at five different sites that, the FDA said, could lead to contaminated eggs. Former FDA official David Atchison was not surprised. Based on what we're seeing here, they're, they're not in compliance with the law, so they're breaking the law. As to the ugly acts of animal cruelty, many too graphic to be broadcast, Sparbo said it too was shocked at the scenes, which it said violated its animal welfare policy. Those people are fired. That breaks this policy? Correct. We take strict, we have zero tolerance for any abuse of an animal at any time. But it was all too much for McDonald's, which relies on Sparbo Farms for eggs for all of its restaurants west of the Mississippi. McDonald's announced today it is dumping Sparbo as a supplier and will get the eggs for its McMuffins somewhere else. McDonald's says its eggs are cooked well enough to kill off any salmonella and that customers have nothing to worry about. But it said it took the action to drop Sparbo Farms because of concerns about the company's management and the scene shown to them by 2020 of what it called the disturbing and unacceptable treatment of animals. Animal rights groups tonight are calling it a major victory. Now, as we watch this story, a lot of people on our staff, and you too, no doubt, had questions about the safest way to prepare eggs. So go to our website at abcnews.com 2020 to find out.